Time for your morning rush. All the top stories you need to know before you start your day. The first thing, let's give you the latest numbers of COVID-19 cases here in our state. DHEC announced 151 new cases, which brings our total up to 925 cases statewide. Richland County now has the most cases out of any other county here in our state with 135. That's followed by Charleston County with 123 and Kershaw County with 99. DHEC officials also said that two more people have died from the virus, bringing our state's death toll up to 18 people. Governor Henry McMaster has issued an executive order that has closed public access to all South Carolina beaches. He also closed public boat ramps and landings and all lakes, rivers and waterways. The governor said the move was necessary after DNR and SLED observed people's behavior over the weekend. This order, however, does not impact the rights of private property owners living in those places. About 140 members of the South Carolina National Guard have been activated for coordination of potential missions in the wake of the COVID-19 outbreak. The Guard will work with state and local leaders to determine the need for personnel and supplies. Last week, Guard members loaded personal protective equipment to be distributed to the state's 46 counties. Those supplies came from DHEC. Well, over at Fort Jackson, officials are reporting a total of 25 positive COVID-19 cases. The Brigadier General says he has declared a public health emergency at the military installation. All gates except Gate 5 are still open for people to go in and out of Fort Jackson at this time. Family days and in-person graduations have been canceled until further notice. Columbia's Comet bus system is changing its policies to help stop the spread of the virus. You will no longer be allowed to stand on the bus while riding. Also, they will only fill every other seat and will stop letting people on once they hit that capacity. And starting today, Comet Central will be temporarily closed until further notice.